The song is Uptown Funk. The winner is Mark Ronson, featuring Bruno Mars, and Mark Ronson is here. Hey guys, sorry I couldn't bring Bruno. Um, so what am I supposed to do? Do you answer questions or just stand here? Okay. Right. I think that that song really came out of a of a moment of like pure joy, like us jamming in a room, playing the music that we probably love the most. When I say us, I mean Jeff Basco, who produced it with us, Bruno Mars and Phil Lawrence. And when you're like jamming with dudes that you love and you respect so much and you're just in this groove, something joyous can kind of come out. And then the seven months to finish the song from that was a lot of, you know, hard work, toiling. We must add 80 different versions that we threw out. Bruno was on tour playing arenas, going straight back to his dressing room after the show while the band goes and parties, and he's working on the bass line with his engineer. And I lost hair. I fainted in a restaurant. All these crazy things happen while we're making this song, but it all comes back to the fact that where it came from, that initial moment of the joy in the thing is, I think, what people get out of it. And I think it just is kind of a joyous song. I think also there's something to be said for, you know, musicians playing instruments can still do something on the dance floor that, 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 that people respond to. You know, there's something human about the performance in it. So I don't, I don't know, but uh, I'm so grateful for the way it's caught on whatever. You never really know until you put it out there, but um, we work so hard, and because we're all really tough critics of our own music, Jeff, Bruno, and me individually, when we knew it passed kind of muster with all three of us, okay, it gets past the peanut gallery, like we know it doesn't suck. But there was definitely a lot of like, you know, there were some heated debates and arguments, so when we finally got it done, I think we were all pretty confident that we, at least we were proud of it. Like, I'm not gonna say we knew it was gonna be a hit, but we knew we were excited and couldn't wait to play it for people where that song came from and that moment of just playing the music that we really love is like the most genuine way you can make music so i feel like just follow that and sometimes you'll have hits and sometimes you won't but at least you're making like real stuff that you look back and you're proud of it down the road um it's it's I mean, I guess it's different. I mean, the, the real honor is being recognized for a piece of music that you were involved with, but Amy's thing was, you know, it was very different. It was, it was her songs that were incredibly personal, and I just came in as a sort of, like, to help realize the vision and how she wanted those songs to sound. And this is, like, this is a song that I wrote, like, with my boys jamming in a room, but I'm, I'm equally proud of, and I know how much Back to Black means to people, so, uh, you know, I'm proud of both. I think the records that I end up doing with other people are really a big part of what my own records sound like. So if I hadn't have worked on Bruno's album, on Locked Out of Heaven and stuff, we never would have met, never would have gone on to the Uptown Funk. And I've learned so much from, you know, even people like Rufus Wainwright and Paul McCartney, you know, you're always learning. So I feel like I'm going to go back to producing records for some other people for a while, because that's pretty much my day job. And then uh, maybe in a while I'll make one of my own. Um, well, I mean, I love Kendrick. It was definitely my favorite album of last year, um, you know, but I feel like it, if it's going to happen, it, it'll happen, you know. I try not to, like, if it, I guess, yeah, if it's supposed to be, it'll happen. Are you working on anything right now? Uh, yeah, I am in the studio. I'm working on some stuff. The only thing is that whenever I say out loud something I'm working on, I usually get fired within three months, like, randomly, so I've just learned to stop saying it. But, yeah, working with some really talented, great people that inspiring, and so it's, it's good. Cool. All right. Well, thanks so much. Thank you very much.